Hi guys, welcome to Xperia Tips. I'm Dom and today we're going to take a closer look at the Xperia 5. Now I would normally do these sorts of videos at home, however I've just got a new job and the office space is really, really nice. So I've managed to clear it with the boss uh, to let me film at the office space. So uh, without further ado, here's a closer look at the Xperia 5. I'll, I'll work here now, like I could work anywhere else. Come on, see you in a minute. factory where dreams come true. I mean look at all of this amazing Sony tech. I mean we've got cameras and TVs and speakers. Oh my we've got this high-res audio setup over here which is worth around about £3,000. We've even got a 4k cinema projector up the top there but to be honest the star of the show is the Xperia 5. So, let's take a closer look. This is the brand new Xperia 5 from Sony, announced at IFA on the 5th of September, and in a nutshell, it's just a smaller version of the Xperia 1. But Dom, why is it called the Xperia 5 and not the Xperia 2? Well, just because I work here now doesn't mean that they actually tell me everything. Well, from what I understand, the name doesn't represent the release date of the handset in the new Xperia range. It kind of loosely represents where it sits in the range. So you've got Xperia 1, which is the best of the best, and Xperia 5, and Xperia 10. And who knows what the name of the next one's going to be? I mean, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. And right now, <sighs> smelling the Xperia 5. So, this is the Xperia 5, and truth be told, the only thing that is significantly different about this device compared to the Xperia 1 is the screen size and resolution. But there are a few tweaks worth looking at, and some stuff worth revisiting. So, let's figure out what this handset is all about. This powerful, perfectly pocket-sized device is only 68mm wide, yet sports a 6.1-inch HDR OLED display, which packs in a load of awesome, geeky Sony tech, which we'll get into in another video. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. But main headlines on this device are that it's 21 by 9 cinema wide. It has the X1 for mobile engine to upscale your content, boost color, contrast, and dynamic range. And it's also got creator mode so you can see films through the eyes of the director in the most true to life colors ever seen in a mobile. A distinction it shares only with its big brother, the Xperia 1. Now, being 21 by 9 and packing in a 6.1 inch display, does mean that this phone is a little bit taller than you'd expect, but to be fair, that comes with some awesome advantages. First off, you get to watch cinematic content the way it was designed to be seen, without that letterbox effect that you see on other devices, and without <clears throat> bits of the screen missing. The size and shape of the Xperia 5 really lends itself to be used with one hand, and of course, Sony have implemented a couple of software tweaks to make it even easier. First off, it's easier to reach the top of the screen, but you can actually swipe down or up from the middle to get your notifications or app draw respectively. You can activate side sense to help with one-handed use and split screen options. And if your hands are really small, you can actually activate one-handed mode to totally customize your display size. As we flip this phone round, we'll see the volume, standby, and two-stage camera button, as well as the fingerprint sensor, all on the right-hand side of the phone. I love this fingerprint sensor because it's perfectly placed for right-handed or left-handed use and you can access it easily when the phone is flat on the table. And round the back we're greeted with more Gorilla Glass 6 and Sony's extremely versatile triple camera system consisting of a 26mm wide-angle lens, a 52mm 2x optical zoom and a 16mm ultra-wide lens as well as a cheeky little colour sensor at the top to ensure that white balance is always correct so you can capture the true-to-life colours. You also benefit from Sony's professional alpha camera tech in here with features like eye autofocus and Sony have also brought back Cinema Pro in the Xperia 5. This app is powered by Cine Alta, Sony's motion picture camera technology brand and puts Hollywood quality recording in the palm of your hand. 
This is a returning feature from the Xperia 1, but there are a few additions to the software in the Xperia 5, which make your movie making workflow just a little bit easier. So stay tuned for that video and check out my previous video on all the ins and outs of what Cinema Pro is. Now we move on to my favorite subject to nerd out about, high res audio. Now, I know that you guys don't watch my videos to hear me repeat myself, and I have done a whole lot of videos on high res audio before, so click the link upstairs uh, if you want to see those. But if you are an audiophile like me, it is worth mentioning that if you pre-order the Xperia 5 in some markets, you can get your hands on these simply phenomenal WF-1000X Mark III truly wireless earbuds. These things have been creating a lot of buzz recently because not only do they make all your music sound like high-res audio thanks to the digital sound enhancement engine, but they have industry-leading noise cancellation due to their dual noise sensor technology. They've got all-day battery life with up to 24 hours of music playback when using the magnetic charging case and they fit like an absolute dream thanks to their new ergonomic design. To take your sound to the next level, the Xperia 5 also supports Dolby Atmos over wireless headphones. Perfect to pair with the pre-order headphones and unlike other manufacturers, you actually have a full EQ in the Dolby settings and Sony can add 3D surround sound to all of your content. So there you have it, the Xperia 5. You get cinematic sound, a cinematic camera and a cinematic screen that you get to carry around absolutely anywhere. And of course, if you pre-order this pocket or palm-sized powerhouse with a phone, you also get your hands on these amazing, truly wireless earbuds. <sighs> Don't forget to like, follow and subscribe uh, for more videos on the Xperia 5 coming very soon. You're shouting again! I literally can't hear anything.